most of the work taking place during the pandemic. The Resh Expo Center is expected to get done on time. Today, Local 5's Erin Taylor got a first look at the new facility, and she takes us along with her. Right now, the Resh Expo Center is still a construction site, but very soon it will hold its grand opening. And even before then, it's already booking events. For the last 10 years, all of our members have been saying, when are we going back to Green Bay? When are we going back to Green Bay? Well, we're going back to Green Bay. The Great Lakes Logging and Heavy Equipment Expo was last held in Green Bay in 2010. We kind of ran out of room, and uh, we've been kind of wandering around a little bit, trying to find a good place to come back to. And the Green Bay area didn't have a facility big enough for the expo until now. We're looking forward to bringing our logging expo back here. It's a huge show. We've got about 340 vendors at it. We expect nearly 6,000 attendees uh, to be here at the event. And it'll have an economic impact of well over $3.2 million on our community. The Logging Expo is booked for 2022 and 2024. Many more events are expected to follow suit. We're going to do what we said this building would do, and that is to bring events here that haven't been able to ever come here or at least come back. And certainly some of the events that we have had will now be bigger than they ever have been before. When selling trade shows of any kind or conventions, uh, even sports events, it's always about the facility. That's the first thing. With the Expo Center about a month from opening, Green Bay now has the facility. Certainly Lambeau Field is one of the things that we use when we're talking about uh, why Green Bay instead of a different destination. For the logging expo, that's a big selling point. For the majority, except for one guy that's a Lions fan, everybody's a Packer fan. So it's like coming to Green Bay is like coming home. In Green Bay, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. The Resch Expo Center is set to open in January 2021.